the law of reversed effort. We need to talk about it. No, it's not a new law that I just made up. This is like, you guys, when it comes down to manifestation, if you have been struggling and perhaps you have been trying, I don't know how many techniques, or I even heard coaches or people giving 15 or 20 affirmations to do every day to the point where people get burned out. If that is you, that is you, or you don't want to end up like that, this video is for you. Let's talk about together how to manifest for real. It's not as complicated as people make it to be. I know I sound so boring, but clearly we still need to talk about it. And let's talk about the law of reversed effort, which in other words, it's nothing but common sense. All right, you guys, let's get started. Hello everyone, my name is Nea, and on this channel I talk everything about manifestation, esotericism, and so much more. On Patreon, I make extra weekly video that you can watch just literally about everything, tarot, esotericism, more specific videos about manifestation. We have a chat together where you can find your manifestation buddy and find support from the community. Again, the link is down below, and the link is down below also for Aura, which if you don't know what it is, is my favorite app. I use it daily and I manifested for you guys to have an uh, to have an affiliate link that I can give you guys so you can try Aura to find your affirmations, meditation, hypnosis, podcast about cognitive behavioral therapy and so much more. I use it like I said daily. I love it. It always puts me back on track when I'm feeling negative and it's really good for my mental health. The link is down below for my affiliate link where you can have a 40% discount with, if you decide to go premium but before that you are also going to have a free trial. So I'll just put the link down below for you guys to explore Aura. And obviously all my coachings and tarot are down below. But anyway, let's get started with today's video. Um, so you guys, um, I feel honestly, you have been programmed understandably, like I get it. But a lot of you guys have been programmed to believe that the more effort you put into something, the more you get out of it. And I think that this is a deep program that a lot of people have due to schools, due to parents telling them that because their parents told them that. And it's like, it's almost like, like you guys sometimes approach, or some people at least, and even some coaches unfortunately, approach manifestation as if you do your homework and you're being a good girl and you work really, really hard, the universe is going to give you a price and that's your manifestation. And unfortunately, if that is your mindset, it's not going to work because it's not about how much effort you put. The, your subconscious mind doesn't care how hard you have worked for your goals. Uh, this is a lie. It is a lie that is being propelled and it's been programmed into your brain to make you good little soldiers, to make you good little officers makers, to make you a really good person in society. You work hard and you're gonna have your reward, to make you have your little promotions or whatever it is. Like, mind you, if you wanna be part of the matrix and doing all of that, there is value into that and I hear that, but whatever it is that you want, like, humans work in this way. Like, let's put it this way. In the 3D, in this matrix, yes, if you sometimes, if you work hard and you show up, then you get rewarded. In an office settings, in a corporate setting, that is true, up to a certain extent, actually. But it could be true, even if you want to do a YouTube channel. I mean, if you kind of work your way and you do your videos, you, but even there, you don't have to work hard. But let's say it could work even in a YouTube channel but you have to understand that that is the human world that's not the spare world that's not how the subconscious mind works and that's definitely not how the universe works and how manifestation works manifestation and your universe god call it subconscious mind call it however you want doesn't look at your effort doesn't care about your effort what it cares about is your alignment is your state of consciousness that is why a lot of you guys or a lot of people that complain out there that don't even know about manifestation they said the world is so unfair because so many people have this level of abundance and we don't have it or they have this and we don't have it mind you that injustices do exist in the world uh, for example people who are dying little children who are dying because of a stupid war they definitely didn't manifest that and that's disgusting so i'm not talking about those things but i'm talking about the privileged ones the ones that live 
live in the Western world and then I don't have to deal with all of that. And yes, you guys are privileged because you can breathe, you can survive, you probably have a job, you can find a job, you have opportunities and you're sitting there complaining about life and it's just absurd because the universe doesn't reward your complaints, your subconscious mind doesn't reward your complaints, the, your subconscious mind doesn't reward your little efforts to show up. It only rewards, if we even have to call it rewards, it only mirrors your states of consciousness, your alignment. So what is the law of reversed effort? Neville Goddard used to talk about the law of reversed effort in all of his books. So is this, and this is common sense, like every single person that has a little bit of a logic, like a tiny, tiny little logic and ex tiny experience of life will tell you the more you push for things to happen, the more you obsess about it, the more you try to make it happen and you work so hard, the more they slip away from you. Like literally grandfathers and grandmothers can tell you this and that is because when you're doing all of that not only you're creating like this excess importance that unless you're going to have this thing you're not going to be happy but simply you're not in the state of consciousness of having because you don't understand that what what does it mean it's done when Neville Goddard or any other ones that taught the law He's saying, your desire, it's done. You don't fully understand what he means. So you don't fully understand what he means. So you have infinite possibilities of the quantum field. You just don't understand it because you constantly go back to the past, your, your experience and your present circumstances. And you are just not creative. Let me just put it that way. In order to unleash the ultimate power, which is the power of God, and you have God within you, you have to be creative. You have to use your imagination. That doesn't mean visualizing. It has, it means this. Even Plato, the ancient philosopher, has talked about this, the world of ideas, the perfect world of idea. And he had a, an entire philosophical theory around that. You can Google it, ask AI. You just study that. But essentially, you don't understand that whatever it is, like if you can imagine yourself, if you can think about yourself having a specific outcome, it because this outcome, this thing that you desire exists in the field of possibility. If you can dream it, you can have it because it exists already where in your mind. Some of you are even looking to jump somewhere and quantum jump somewhere out there in the universe. You don't get it. You're putting effort right there. You don't get it. It's not about jumping. It's not about moving anywhere. Yes, you eventually will jump, quantum jump, but it's not about that. It's about the fact that if you can see it, if you truly can see it, you can see yourself having it, then it's done. In the world of possibility, you can have it. In the world of imagination, you can have it. And if you can see it, it will collapse into reality. But it's not about doing 15 or 20 affirmations all day long and exhaust, exhausting yourself unless that makes you happy. It's not about that. It's about naturally shifting your focus towards the fact that you already have it. Why? Because you can see it in your imagination. And so uh, the only thing that you need to have is a little bit of faith and persistence. And that's about it. It's not about putting more effort, working harder, listening to more coach, doing more techniques, uh, feeling like you need to deserve it. You already deserve it. It is already a yes. You just have to, like a radio frequency, like a radio, you tune it to the station that you want to hear. You have to align yourself to that particular frequency. I know a little bit law of attraction, but that's it. That's it. And the way you align yourself to that particular frequency is with your thoughts. Because if you would if you would be in the relationship that you want, you would wake up in the morning and be grateful for that. You would wake up in the morning and certainly have certain thoughts of my life is wonderful. Isn't it wonderful that I am with the love of my life? Isn't it wonderful that I can enjoy my free time when my love is not here? I mean, I'm in a, I remember when I was manifesting Johan, my now husband, that is, that is all I was doing. I wasn't worried about timing for me. The fact that I was with Johan, even though I didn't even know he was called Johan, I just knew he had blue eyes, incredible blue eyes. Um, I just knew that I it was done. 
Like, I don't even know how to explain it better than this. Like, I wasn't worried about when I was going to meet this person. For me, this person was already in my life because I could see it in my imagination. I was aligned. Therefore, I was, yes, doing the affirmations, sometimes visualization. I was very persistent at that, for sure. But I wasn't doing it with effort. Like, I'm going to work so, so, so hard to make this happen. No. It was fun. Like if you guys are doing the affirmations and for you, it's not fun to say that you are in love and you are with the love of your life. Sorry, somebody's gonna call you. That was an omen. Then change techniques. Just choose one technique that makes you happy doing it. Because I was happy doing my technique and sometimes I was scripting. For that reason, guys, I have created a scripting manifestation journal that you can use and it, it has inside a step-to-step -step, uh, guide on how to manifest. So with my formula, you find it on Amazon and in digital form on my Ko-Fi shop. It's called the Enchanted Manifestation Scripting Journal. You find it down below. The link is down below. Sorry, I needed to say it because I constantly forget that I also have that for you guys. It's amazing. I use it all the time but besides that so choose one technique that you feel and makes you happy to do for me with affirmations was really nice because I put my makeup in the morning I do it under my shower as soon as I wake up I don't know it just feels very natural like I think a lot and then throughout the day and before falling to bed I would visualize but for me it was never a chore it was never like oh my god I'm putting so much effort because I need to manifest the love of my life and I don't have it and I'm so desperate about it and I have to put the work and just one more day of work one more day of affirmation and putting the effort in the universe or that my subconscious mind is going to reward me I never did that I'm sorry but I would wake up in the morning and feel very grateful about my life even though I come from nothing I had nothing to show up for I would uh, say oh my god I'm so happy and grateful because my boyfriend is amazing like I was literally happy to say those things and then I would go on about my day try to make the best out of my day and sometimes my day was boring and there was nothing to show up for but just the fact that I could have a nice meal on my plate that was already it and I would just continue doing that continue having faith that for sure I deserve the love of my life for sure continuously having faith that for sure that person exists somewhere in the world and for sure there is so much abundance in this universe that I will find it there is no way I cannot find it. There is no way that I cannot make money just by being myself. I was born perfect. I'm a spiritual being. God loves me. Why wouldn't I find the love of my life? Why wouldn't I find my place in the world? Why would I be in luck? That's all I did. That's what I was telling myself with faith and an abundance mindset, watching uh, coaches that I trust and they weren't confusing me with thousands of techniques, but they were keeping me motivated and keeping me on track. Uh, having manifestation buddies like my best friend Lara, having people that I could connect with that will promote the idea of manifestation, reading books, listening to Neville Goddard pod podcast, listening to Neville Goddard on YouTube, YouTube that gave me a lot of motivation as well as Florence Kovlachin and in general surround myself with this idea that there is a lot of abundance of course I can have it of course I deserve it and just in that way I would keep the alignment that's not putting effort that's fun and I would do things that were fun. I would go out with my friends, not because I was looking for someone, but because I was just having fun, fueling myself with fun, alignment, positivity, concepts of manifestation, concepts of infinite possibilities. And that's not effort. That's not putting hard work. That's just prioritizing being in the right state of consciousness on a day-to-day -day basis consistently and prioritizing being in alignment in that sense. It's not effort. And the less effort you put, the more you get. Because the more effort, when people, most, most of the time, not always, but most of the time, at least for me, because obviously everything that I say comes from my opinion and my personal experience, but uh, for me at least, when I try to control a lot, when I try to uh, push, do more affirmations or try to make it happen, I charge myself with a lot of anxiety and excess importance and that always leads me to opposite manifestations. So I just tend to avoid that altogether and I follow the law of reversed effort. The more I put effort, the more I get. Yeah, which to be honest, it could be even be a belief that I created for myself because I read it from Neville Goddard. But guess what? This is a nice belief because the less I put effort, the more I get. 
the less I work hard, the more I get. Even with my YouTube channel, oh my god, every single time that I was uploading so many videos and putting so much effort and I wanted and I wanted and I needed now, it was flopping like big time, but every single time I took a rest, I only make videos when I feel in alignment and I have something to really say that is genuine, honest, and creates values, and I just like relax about it. I don't need to put effort in order to have my YouTube channel or my TikTok viral every single time it worked every single time like recently like what it was two weeks ago I think or maximum three I created a new TikTok in English just for fun to talk about esotericism you can follow me um it's called Naya I think um you see I don't even remember how it's called I was just making videos for fun I put zero effort into it I just thought and affirmed of course everyone loves me of course I'll go viral yeah we got this you know the usual stuff literally three videos went a little bit viral boom already a lot of subscribers so um you don't have to put any effort like whoever tells you that you need to work hard for it um is lying they don't understand manifestation they don't understand what it means it is done if you can see it you can have it so at the end of the day what is manifestation manifestation is nothing but the persistent you persisting in seeing in your mind the fact that you have it. That's it. I know it sounds crazy, but that's all that is to it. You stubbornly persisting to see in your mind the fact that you have it. And that doesn't mean all day long. That means in the morning and before you go to bed. That's it. And if you believe that manifestation should be more complicated than this, it's because you have huge limiting beliefs around it, around working hard. And it is only when you work hard that you get things. And it is only when you work hard that you deserve it. And that's something you should work on it because it will block you and block the abundance, I think, for things. Oh, it will make at least it will make things more complicated. And if you're teaching this to people, if you're teaching that they need to put effort, a lot of effort in order to get it, they need to do the work in order to get what they want. I'm sorry, stop teaching manifestation because you don't know it and you don't understand it. Okay? So yeah. That is the law of reverse effort. Let me know if you want a more in-depth video on Patreon about this or here on YouTube. Let me know in the comment section. Remember for my coachings, my manifestation journal, aura, everything that I offer, all the discounts that I have. Oh, by the way, there is a discount on coaching, 10% off up until the 20th of October. Everything is down below, you guys. Always in the description box or in the comment section. I love you guys and I'll see you very soon. Don't put effort. You got this. You already have it. If you can see it, you have it. Bye.